you guys. So we have snuck in the rehearsal studio here at the Hobby Center. We're with Tuts today. Right now you are looking at just some of the things that are going to be set up for Little Shop of Horrors. I have literally no idea how I actually made it in here <laughs> because sometimes I just find my way into places I'm not supposed to be. But Terrell, Dion, thank you for right. having us in these rehearsals today. We're so excited. This is such an iconic show. Mm -hmm. Now, what made you want to be a part of this one? Uh, man, just to, this is a great resume star to shoot for <laughs> one, first off. But to make me, I love the Little Shop of Horror from yeah. the eight, not 87 movie that of they course, have. So, of course, of course. And that was my first entry into the world of Little Shop so of Horror. So for people who have not, Terrell, for people who have not seen that movie, can you give them a little bit of a summary, kind of of what this show is about? Because they're like, well, I'm, look, what is this? What is this? <laughs> so it's the hard turmoils of life that's going through. And on top of that, we have an extraterrestrial plant that comes and take over the city. But of course. <laughs> <laughs> but of course. So, and that plays into everything that's going on on the outside world as of well. Of course. So. This is our little... And, and who is this? Introduce us to this, this beautiful plant Audrey eating. Two, <laughs> AKA Tui is this one. This is our pod number three. So this is the second largest one that we pl okay. play in. Play, play in. <laughs> now, Dion, let's talk about this because this is a plant. Obviously, it needs to be manipulated and mm -hmm. run uh, by a puppeteer, mm -hmm. right? Now, what is your job with Audrey 2? So I play the voice of Audrey 2. Okay. Um, so I'm not on stage at all. It's Terrell that manipulates the plant, <laughs> but we kind of have a chemistry, a camaraderie that allows us to have a cohesiveness with this character, building to Audrey 2 to be crazy, be wild, and it's, uh, it's a time. But what is that like? like to be in a play but not on stage for it at any time i mean you can wear whatever you want yeah, right i can do whatever i can sit back i can eat my food and then come in but the goal is to stay connected the whole of time course. to know exactly the goal of what rg2 is trying to do in the scenes to stay connected to it without you know losing that connection but i love being backstage relaxing. And, those I mean, <laughs> and those little sound bites like along the way maybe mm -hmm. of her eating something yeah. or someone you have to make yeah. sure to do that voice acting is always about making making the sounds making the uh suggestions of what the character needs and it's a, it's a great time. Yeah. So, yeah. okay, Terrell, as the manipulator, the puppeteer of mm -hmm. Audrey 2, is this a heavy costume? Well, this one is not too heavy. It's okay. the big one over here. Oh, God. And that's only half of her, that's right? Her. Yes, this is a top half, actually. So. Oh, it's upside down. That's what we're looking down. at. Okay, what are you, strap in there? I'm harnessed and strapped and buckled in and everything. What so. kind of fitness program do you have to do? Well, I went to the gym this morning. <laughs> Full body. After Full you. body workout. So I know that there's a couple different Audrey 2s just correct. because as she grows throughout the show, right? Correct. Correct. That's correct. She starts out with this little baby plant right. and she comes into her orange size as well. Yeah. And then we get our number three here uh, in when she starts eating. Yep, yep. And then we get the big mama jamma back here. The big we, mama jamma yeah. when she starts eating. <laughs> whole people. Whole people is what what happens? Whole people. <laughs> right, right, right. What is your favorite part? I know this is such a great iconic show. What is your favorite part, audience-wise, reaction-wise, when when you're on stage performing Little Shop of Horrors? Well, I, you know, I'm backstage. I love the part where I get to eat everybody in summertime. <laughs> um, that's the time I get to make the most sound effects. I get to laugh diabolically. I get to enjoy that. And literally, people love watching the, the manipulator eat these people. Yeah. So it's just this is my favorite part. Now, how do you start? This is a, a, a kind of a tough show that we're looking at the rehearsal video right now how do you actually rehearse for something like this in a space that we're in i mean and then you bring it on the show it's almost harder to take it to rehearsals than to actually put it on stage right well anything in rehearsals where you get your your time in to course, perfect it so it's it's pretty much the same as rehearsal as anything else but we're just using two people to make one character okay and our cohesiveness since the day one of meeting yeah. Dion. Mm -hmm. It's, it's going to be a piece of cake. His voice is silk. I'm telling you. Come, oh, okay. Here, come and listen to the man. Give, a, give, us, a little, <laughs> give us a little line as, as Audrey, too. Feed me. <laughs> <laughs> of course you went with that. Well, Dion Terrell, thank you so much. You. I'm going to put more information up. Tuts.com is where you can go. Our website is HoustonLife.tv. October the 22nd, it starts. Don't miss it. You don't want to. But yeah. I'm going to take a snack with these guys. More Houston Life returns next.